All right, I just recorded this entire video and realized that I wasn't sharing my screen. So let's just get right into this and I'll make it short and simple. I took two losers today, two winners today. I'm green on the day. So how the fuck? Oops, didn't mean to swear. Let's just let's just get right past that. Didn't want to swear there, so I stopped myself. How do you get over your losers? Right, first trade of the day, I took an L. Right here, right? So we have a sweep of buy side. Nice displacement down. Took it in the fair value gap, stopped out. How do I get over that and take two more trades? Or three more trades, actually. Because I know that my system is a profitable system. If I am taking trades when I see them, when my setup comes, I know more likely than not, I will be profitable over time. Okay? So if you think of it like that, you will get over your losers. If you have a good system, a good strategy, and you just take losers here and there, right? Like I probably, I had a 50% win rate today, but my normal win rate is probably like 70 something, 70% or something. But my average RR is usually like two or three. Like if you have a good RR, no reason to fear. So right here, I took a 10 uh, point stop. My next trade, I'd make 15 points. So in this inverse fair value gap, I knew the draw was lower after this move, right? Think about it logically. Think about it softly, okay? If we, um, if we, let's, I, if you have a different strategy, right? If you don't trade the way I trade, let's say you just trade support and resistance, right? That can be profitable. I hate when people are saying, don't trade. It, it, stop. It, it's stupid. Stop thinking you have the best strategy out there. Whatever works for someone works for someone. But with the way I trade, I know over time, my losers will be tinier than my winners. Right? Right here is a seven point stop with a 15 point win. Right here was a 10 point stop with my first contract getting out at 48 points. See? Right there. Beautiful RR, a 1 to 4.85 with the first contract. Then I would have just let it run to down there. Wow, 100 points and I missed it. Either way, how didn't I get upset about this after seeing it did what I wanted to? Because I know over time, if I keep taking my setups, I can stay profitable. If I am taking my setups every time I see them, I will be profitable. Now, why didn't I retake the short? Honestly, it's because I wanted to see if we were just going to range out after this nice move up. If we were going to range out, I didn't want to be a part of it because I'd just keep getting stopped out. After we see this displacement down, now I'm like, okay, let's do this. So after we come up to this fair value gap, displace back down. I wanted to see if it was going to hold this or go through it. I took the inverse of it. Took it here, targeting here, because I usually do not take uh, inverse for value gaps. So my first contract was off at 15 points should have left a runner down to this low at 50 points. See right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm back to green on the day. Next trade loser took it at the close of this candle risking off the top because I wanted to see if this fair value gap was going to hold stop should have been up here, but I don't risk that much. I do get stopped out more often, but when I win, I win right here 31 points now I should have left a runner but uh, but I shouldn't have been trading at this time because it was after 1130 so my punishment was taking them all off at equal lows if you know where price wants to go and you trust your system you will take your setup when you see it okay that's how you just get over losers you get over losers by knowing what price wants to do and you get over losers by knowing your system has more rr when you win compared to when you lose if you're losing more often and letting them bigger that that's unsustainable right you can't lose more often and keep them bigger you can have a negative win rate and still be profitable I know someone has like a 37% win rate and their RR is huge. And then on the counter side, I know someone with an 87% win rate, but their RR is negative. So if you just find the system that works, 
for you, you won't care about losing trades. It happens. Everybody loses. Everybody loses. You can't come into the markets every single day. Trade every single day. Let's say you take one trade a day, just one. There is no shot, not a chance that you won't lose. You will always lose. But how do you combat that? By letting your winners be bigger or by winning more. Either one, whichever one you pick, a bigger RR or a better a bigger RR but your winners happen less often yes or you win more but your losers I can't even think of what I'm trying to say if you have a bigger RR you may lose more often if you lose more often your RR is gonna be bigger if you win more often your RR may be smaller that's what I was trying to say. Thank you. I couldn't I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But if you are winning more often, why do you care about a loser here and there? If your winners maybe they're smaller than your losers. Either way, if you are winning more, what does it matter if you take a loser every once in a while? Think about it. What business doesn't go through a losing phase? Let's say you work at a grocery store, right? You work at Walmart. People steal all the time. People steal all the time. But why are they so profitable? Because they sell more than people steal. It just logic. If they if people are stealing all the time, right? If people steal all the time, you have to sell more than people steal, right? It's just that simple. Like the thieves get arrested and then they're out of the question. As if you were in the markets losing and then you stop trading, you pretty much just became the robber because you quit. You suckered out of it. So whenever you lose, you have to think about being a robber, right? You don't want to get arrested, <laughs> okay? So you don't want to get arrested if you're the robber. So, so hide out. That was a really weird analogy. Probably really bad too. Either way, as if you think of it as a business, you will always go through losing periods or a offset profit. Right? You won't profit every quarter maybe. Maybe every business doesn't profit every single quarter of their entirety. So what makes you think you're going to profit every single day when we put risk on every single day every single day we're putting risk on the table by clicking the buy or sell button so if we're doing that i wonder if i took my stop loss off where's the price at okay it's right now i'm chilling price comes up here i don't know if i have my stop loss off should have came off i don't remember though either way if you are losing you just have to say to yourself, on to the next. It is what it is. You didn't do this to complain all the time. You did this because there's so much money to be made and freedom to have that you want to do this so you can't just be geeking over losers. You just can't be. Right? It's that simple. If you just think to yourself, on to the next, I will execute my setup no matter what. You have no reason to lose. You have no reason to lose. Lose is in being unprofitable. You, you obviously will lose a lot trading. But it doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter? Because over time, with your system, you will be profitable. You can't. You can't. You can't just sit there and think to yourself, well, I lost today, so fuck this. I'm done. I can't trade. I don't know how to do it. Stop. You didn't learn all this just, just to quit. 
like j just imagine telling people i quit day trading because i lost one day i lost this day i lost last tuesday so i quit trading just gonna go get a regular job fuck that over time with the setups that you execute on you will be profitable okay so get over the losers move on to the next the next one might be a winner i'm out just get over the losers baby we are here to make money